Are you having trouble potty training your puppy to go outside? Well, there are a lot of factors to consider, but today I want to know, are you using pee pads inside your house? My name is Desiree, and today we are discussing the pros and the cons when using pee pads and why you may want to stop using them with your new puppy. Pee pads are layered absorbent material that can be attached to a tray or directly attached to the floor. They usually have a scent that attracts the pet to potty on them. So here are some conveniences with using pee pads for your new puppy. Convenience number one, you may choose to use pee pads because you are not home during the day. This allows your puppy to have a designated spot to use the restroom. Convenience number two, People just assume that it's easier to clean up. You simply roll up the pee pads and throw them away. Convenience number three, you may struggle with keeping a close eye on your puppy and so your solution is to put the pee pads down. Convenience number four, you may live in a high rise building that does not have quick access to outside. Convenience number five, you may live in an area with a lot of snow or rain and you need to have an alternative potty spot. Convenience number six, your puppy is young and you don't want to take the risk of taking them out to the public potty spots. Convenience number seven, your breeder used them and so you just continue to do so since your puppy already knows how to use a pee pad. Now remember, breeders like myself are raising puppies under eight weeks old and they are too young to work on outside potty training. So what we do with our puppies that are under eight weeks old is going to be very different from what you as a new puppy owner should be doing. So are these conveniences reason enough to use pee pads? Let's talk about some reasons why you should stop using pee pads with your new puppy. Reason number one, pee pads encourage a puppy to potty on the floor of your home. Reason number two, pee pads are not always as easy to clean up as you may think. Puppies easily get bored and then all of a sudden they're grabbing the end of that pee pad and dragging it all around your house. Imagine a puppy running down the hall with a pee pad that has been used. You guessed it, your puppy's pee and poop is now smeared all over your hallway. Reason number three, pee pads are made of paper and plastic materials, which are dangerous for your puppy if they happen to eat it. They can be a choking hazard if your puppy is left unattended with the pee pads. Reason number four why you may want to stop using pee pads. Pee pads can later be mistaken as a carpet or rugs with your puppy. So if they see your carpet or rug or a pile of clothing on the ground, they can easily think that that is where they should be going potty. Reason number five, and probably the most important reason why you want to consider stop using pee pads. Pee pads will confuse your puppy. If the goal is to potty train your puppy to use the restroom outside, then you need to listen closely. If you start using pee pads when you bring your puppy home and also try to potty train them outside, Nine times out of 10, your puppy will not use the restroom outside. They will wait until you come back inside and then they're going to go pee on their pee pad. Raising a puppy myself, I have used pee pads out of convenience. In that moment, it is a great idea and so much easier to not have to stick to a potty schedule and monitor every move that puppy makes. I was lazy and later regretted it because potty training became very difficult. I had to start from ground zero as if I had just brought home an eight week old puppy. But this time it was much harder to potty train him to go outside because I had to reverse what he thought was right from previous training. Setting your puppy up for success from day one is vital when raising a new puppy. Before bringing home a puppy, ask yourself, what is the end goal? If you ultimately want your puppy to potty outside, then do not introduce pee pads. Remember, raising a new puppy is a lot of work in the beginning. You cannot do things out of convenience, but instead put in the effort and the work from day one. Follow a potty schedule with your puppy and in no time you are going to have a puppy that is puttying outside. If you want to master raising a great canine companion, then watch this next video. And until next time, bye.